Hello, I'm Jerry Chris. I'm a flight tire and fly fisherman out of Lapine, Oregon. Uh, that's in the central part of the state. Uh, we're going to do a uh, version of, of, of the Partridge Green soft tackle. Uh, we're going to use a material that I, that I found recently uh, for the body rather than green silk or pyrosol silk, which is standard, um, kind of a standard through the many, many years. Um, in fact, the Partridge Orange goes back. I've been able to search it back all the way down to um, late 1400s, early 1500s. That's how old the Partridge Orange is. But so we're going to use a, a little different material. I found it in a, in a bead store of all places, and it's a beading cord. It's a cord, it's a material that they use to actually string beads on. It gets kind of flat when you pull it. It's like, it's like a, almost like a dental floss, um, but it's really kind of, kind of neat. It's got some great coloring to it. Uh, there's some really nice colors. There's a tan and a couple other little browns and a pink that's really kind of neat looking. So we're gonna use the green and we're gonna basically make the same fly, except we're gonna use that for the body as you would uh, an old partridge green. So we're going to put some tying thread. I'm not going to use it as the tire, as the tying thread, though, because it's, it's a little too heavy for that. Um, so we'll just snip off a piece here. And I'm not going to double back. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tie it in here and go forward and come back. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to wind my thread in. I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to hold it and keep it on the bottom. And I'm going just about, just past the point. You can see where the thread is hanging. Okay, soft tackles don't go all the way back to the hook barb. They kind of stay forward a little bit, just till you just about reach the point. And this, this hook is, you want to use a, uh, most wet fly hooks are marked wet fly. You don't want to use any uh, extra long shanks or anything like that. Uh, you want to stay with a short shank uh, wet fly hook. Uh, and you can tie, if you, want, um, if you want to tie an 18 on a 16, you can. You just shorten up your floss body a little bit, okay? So now we're going to take the thread forward in big wraps because we don't need. Now, when I pull this, when I wind my first wrap, my first wrap is going to be half of the body, that, half of that winding thread was there, and half on the hook shank. And when I do that, I get a nice taper to the end. And then I pull it, and you'll see it stays nice and flat. It's really kind of nice. It's kind of waxy feeling. I'm going to pull up. Adjust the hook a little bit. Now, peacock hurl. This is a really nice peacock eye, by the way. You can see that the hurl is really full. See how full that is? It's almost like a nice dry fly hackle. And one of the things I do with my students that I get is I try to get them to treat peacock curl like they would a good dry fly hackle. I find if you do that, you can, you can really, really make it stand up. And what I mean by stand up is when I bend this, you can see that that, that really does stand up nice, okay? That shaft is a little too thick for this fly, so we'll go up. We're going to go up towards the eye and find a thinner one. Still the same pretty material up here. It's still really, really nice. Okay. And you just have to play with them. They, they have kind of a, almost like a triangle uh, stem to them. So when you go to tie them in, they kind of will flop around on you. So you really have to look at it and, and, and watch what you're doing when you tie this in. Because I like the concave to the back. It, it just makes it easier to keep it straight. I'm going to lay, the, lay the, the strip in right at me, looking right at me, and I'm going to tie in a couple of tight wraps. I'm going to go back a little bit. And when I pull this around, hopefully the concave side, no, it rolled on me. That's how easy it, it works. It just rolls in your fingers. It hates to be put in put in that way for some reason. So we'll try again. Pull it, pull it, pull it. There we go. And you'll see that this stands straight up. And I'm not wrapping a wrap inside of a wrap now. I'm just putting a wrap in front of a wrap. 
And that's all you should need. You shouldn't need any more than that. Three would, should be enough. Don't pull too hard when you get that first wrap of thread because you'll, you can snap it, okay? And you don't want to break it off and you'll just be putting it in again in a couple of hard wraps. Now, when you trim it, try to trim it out. Get, get your finger in, get the thread out of the way, and try to trim that out of there nicely. Sometimes you can snap it out, uh, but I find sometimes when you go to do that, you'll end up banging the whole thing out of there. Okay, so that looks pretty good right now. Nice and simple. Now we're going to take just some partridge. We're going to take kind of the center of the there, and we're going to take nice striped pieces. And we're going to do... <coughs> Okay, we're gonna we pulled the, the hackle little one one little feather off, and we're gonna tie it in by the tip. And my fingers are kind of big, so if I went to kind of grab that, I can't get up there at the at the real point. But if you take your tweezers and just lay them right on the flat and pinch it, then you can pull back, and you got your tie-in point, a little bitty one. It's kind of a nice nice little trick. I've been playing with soft tackles for the last couple of years and uh, trying to even make them easier to tie. And that's one of the things I came up with that kind of helped a lot uh, for getting my big fingers onto a feather. So now we're going to trim out everything that's in the way. Now these are delicate feathers, so you're going to have to be careful with the hackle plier on this. If you drop the hackle plier on this one, it'll probably break. This one's, this is a real fine, fine one. This was a great find. The coloring on this hackle, on this, this particular skin is just beautiful. So now I'm going to wrap that in. And this is where that silicone really helps with these really delicate, because it really holds them well. Although it slipped out there one time, normally it just holds it. And you'll see that this just is just pretty as can be. So now I've got basically just one and a half really is all I really got out of the two. I'm going to slide up the thread and wherever the thread goes into it, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to hold tension and I'm going to let go of my hackle plier all in the same move. And then I'm going to wind this up and through that tie-in point. And then I'm going to go back through the hackle one time, jiggling the thread the whole time. I'm going to come up, cut that excess out of the way. You will find ways you can snap it out too. It it that does work. There are people who lay it back and all kinds of you don't want to have this really to lay back this this thing is supposed to be standing out and I hope I didn't get too much hackle in there these are supposed to be kind of sparse let's see that'll that'll be all right okay so now we'll just finish it up with a little head and stretch out the thread Again, I'm going to do a little whip finish. Three in there. I'm going to turn the thread around so I take the loop out. Take because the thread will saw itself. When I hand whip like that, I get across a thread right here in the loop. And if I drag that cross up, the thread will saw themselves. So that's the tool. What I did, I just opened that loop up. So I'll do it again. And then I can show the cross of thread. If I was to pull that loop up right there, um, we would saw that thread apart. So, but if I open the if I open the loop like that, and I drag it up, I don't damage the thread at all. Be careful when you drag that up that you don't grab hackle. I might have grabbed it hackle there when I did that. I think I did. 
That's what we got scissors for to clean it up. Okay. And there is a partridge green. And this, this material is, is called, let's see, what was it called? They, they call it Super Lawn. Uh, and again, it was out of a bead store. Uh, great places to pick up things. And there is the partridge green soft tackle.